Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the O1 HDS 272S oscilloscope multimeter and waveform generator. Um, here it is. You can pick these up on Amazon for £170 or maybe secondhand on eBay um, for maybe about 100 if you're lucky. And I think I got mine for about 155 maybe about a year ago. So they've gone up in price a little bit, but I really like it. And I'm a student doing mechatronic engineering, and this has been very useful for doing projects and experiments and you know learning things at home. If you don't have um, an oscilloscope or a voltmeter or a waveform generator and you're an engineering student, um, go get yourself something because it's going to mean you can do a lot of stuff at home that you wouldn't be able to do. And also you're going to be able to take this, to have this at home, have this in the library, have this in the lab, have this in lectures and, you know, get things done, you know, on the move. Um, it's, it's not heavy. It's um, fairly compact for what it is and it works quite well. And the battery is decent as well. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and power it on. And this is what you'll be presented with when you turn it on. This is, I've reset it to factory defaults. Um, I'm just going to peel off. I've had this on for this front cover plastic on for since I bought it and it's now getting a bit scuffed. So now I think I'm going to go ahead and, and take this off and you can all enjoy that with me. So there we go. Now it's a brand new you know, screen. Um, so the, the most basic options you have is this mode button. So you've got the um, oscilloscope, multimeter, and waveform generator. And on the top, you've got three ports. You've got the two channels for the oscilloscope and uh, waveform generation out. Uh, so what comes with the, um, it, it, sorry, the accessories, Uh, you've got this BNC connector to crocodile clips. You've got another one, so you get two of those, right? And your oscilloscope probe and a little um, thing to alter the compensation of the probe and also your multimeter leads so yeah. so i think i think that's pretty standard with any multimeter and you get the bag as well and uh and a manual so i, I I didn't even read this when I got it. I'm only reading it now, so I know what to do. <laughs> um, so we've turned it on. So let's connect connect up to our wave waveform generator, so we can demonstrate this thing working. And we'll connect that to our. Probes, and I grind to our ground. And I'll go ahead and plug it in. Right. So that's those two things in. So I go to the waveform generator, and we have got options frequency, amplitude, offset, and we can change our frequency mode from period to frequency. It's just just a different way of choosing it. And then we've got our amplitude and that can be amplitude or high level, low level. And then we've got offset or low level like so. And then we can change our waveform so that's not set to sign. And we can go square, ramp, pulse, arbitrary, sign. So they've got different options as you can see. Um, We'll stay with uh we'll go to yeah, we'll go to a sine wave and we'll just start that. 
there. And then we'll go back to this. And we'll see there's our sine wave now. You can just press auto to auto adjust it. Or you can also press this horizontal button and that'll let you uh, move it left and right, right? Or zoom in, zoom out on the horizontal scale. So that's that. Um, then you've got the channel button. So you can switch the channel off, switch the channel on. You can say is it AC or DC. In this situation, it's really not making any difference because of, well, I've got an AC. Let me, let me have a look, let me change it. So I'm going from zero volts to one volt. But if I put that, down to a half then there and then if I go to channel you can see it puts it in a different position because of the um, yeah it basically offsets it to zero I think and then you've got this probe button which is <coughs> giving you um, Essentially, just a multiplier. So we are AC. So let's go back there. So we don't have any much information here yet. We just have the visual. So what you can do is you can go to measure, and then measure, and then turn measure on, and then you can add different things that may or might like. So just turn them all on here. So we have voltage. Is that one the min the max the frequency the period i think the voltage amplitude and the voltage peak to peak so there are your options there to for an extra display um and then you've got system which gives you display options so brightness backlight time honestly i've never even looked at that um, menu time, I guess that's how long it's going to stay on and how long it's been turned on there. So then you can go to system, you've got language, shutdown time, about and upgrade. And then reset to defaults. Um, something about USB, I'm not. Default auto calibration. I'm not used that yet. I'll have to consult the documentation. Um, uh, let's see. Cursor type none. Yeah, you've got lots of um, lots of options to put additional lines on the screen and sort of informate like to help make it easier to see what's going what's going on but i haven't got that intensely into it so i just very rarely need any advanced features like that um let's move on to the to the voltmeter so i'm not measuring anything at the moment but you get the idea you can change from voltage ac to dc you can change um to go measure current i'm not going to do that right now and you can change from millivolts the bolts and you can also that button will change the amps when you're in the when you're measuring current um f4 okay I, i've actually not used these yet and then you've got this trig button down here uh oh yeah tri this is a, a trigger so i think that's what this means it'll stop and pause when it receives a signal um and then tell you what it is. So I haven't used that, but it does that as well. Um, and then you've got your sockets down here for your yeah, measuring your voltage and your and your current and um, yeah, I guess capacitance and resistance there. Uh, so so I'm going to now show you it connected to the PC as well. So on my laptop. And show you the software that it doesn't come with but you can get if you if you know where to look um 
I, I found the software on a third party supplier website. I couldn't even find it on their um, official website. So I'm just gonna launch the software. So we're just going to demonstrate the uh, software on the PC. I'm gonna start recording that now. Um, you should be able to see a uh, sine wave on the desktop. That's not currently being captured, but I will update that in a minute. So I'm generating a, a sine wave here. So it's the auto there. And then in the Windows software, I'm just going to hit capture data. Oh, not that wrong button. Get data, click start, and then hit continue data download. And you can see it is now updating. There are various options in this tool for the frequency of updating. Um, I'm going to square wave, uh, ramp, pulse, arbitrary, and back to sign as you can see it does capture that now if i just hit stop there and if i go to file data table we can actually save that as a spreadsheet um, and then you can also you can see here is the spreadsheet that it generates and you can also get access to the uh to the data that also get access to that data in these bin files that it generates though so I'm not sure what the format is needed to actually open that I might do another video on that in the future but the data can be exported and I'm sure there is a way to uh, to get to that so yeah that's uh, this software is it's a bit bit rough around the edges but you can you can get data off it for further analysis okay yeah what else to say about this um yeah that's uh, i think it's pretty good like um like i say if you're if you're a hobbyist or a student i would recommend it um i don't think it's made for perhaps professionals in the field i think it might get you know easily scratched or not be safe but i don't really know it just it, it it seems to be built for portability and jack of all trades like so that's all if you have any questions or comments uh please leave them below in the comment section and uh thank you very much goodbye